you can do incredible things thanks to the next feature up for discussion, Photoshop Masks. They allow us to combine different images and pieces of images into one. Let's see what I mean. Let's say we want to change the lipstick color in this picture. We have two photos, the original one and the recolored one. Now, we can take the eraser and delete what we don't need. However, what we delete can't be restored. It disappears permanently. In such case, if we go too far into the project and we want to undo something, it would be impossible. For instances like this, it's best to use masks. Let's see how it works. I'll go one step back and add a mask. You can create masks by using this icon here, which looks like a circle inside a rectangle. When we click once, we see a white mask. This means that the white mask shows the image which contains it, and the black mask hides the image. As you can see, if I make the mask black, the image below is shown, and if I make it white, the image above it is shown. By the way, I can switch from black to white and white to black with the key combination Control and I, which stands for Invert. Likewise, if I want to delete everything but the lips which I want to keep, I choose the black color and the brush and we start painting. You can see that the effect which we derive is the same, but if we need to restore something because we went too far, we can do it. In order to do that, we make the brush white and go around the part we want to recover. This is an undestructive way to work and we can redo, undo, or recover something at any time. This is how we merge several images into one. The other thing we can do in order not to remove such a big part of the image is to select only what we want to keep. For this, we can delete this mask, make a new one, and invert it, i.e. make it black and hide the image above. And now we can combine the image below with the lip color from the image above and merge the two images instead of completely deleting the first one. So now, we've managed to combine the two images into one, the lips from above with the rest of her from the original. As you can see, the masks show us what we've saved and what we've removed. The mask views are as follows, white is what is shown and black is what we hide from the image. In the next lesson, we'll discuss a similar situation with a combination of two different images so that you can see in what other ways masks work. We'll check out another example with masks so that you get a good idea and that it's clear for you, because that's the base for working with Photoshop.